What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be doing a review of the MPOW EG3 Pro Gaming headset with surround sound. Now, if you're in the market and you're looking for a inexpensive gaming headset, look no further as the MPOW might be the product that you're looking for. Now, the specific EG3 Pro Gaming headset that I am looking at here, the model number is the BH357A. This specific model does come with a couple specifications that are interesting, such as true surround sound effect, which means that this has a high quality 50 millimeter driver units that provide a vivid sound field and an immersive gaming experience. This headset also comes with what's called a multi-platform compatibility, which means that this works great with PC, PlayStation 4, the new Xbox One controller, Nintendo Switch, and mobile devices with the 3.5 millimeter jack. But it's very strange because it doesn't tell you if it's compatible with PS5 and with Xbox Series X or S. So stay tuned as we will find out later in the video. The EG3 Pro Gaming headset from MPOW comes in a decent looking box and you guys will realize the minute you take it out that it comes inside this plastic packaging almost like a Ziploc like bag. So once you unzip that bag you will see all the contents that are being revealed. So keep in mind throughout this entire review that this is a $40 headset. Yes, a $40 Canadian headset, which I find to be quite inexpensive. As you guys can see, the first thing that comes out of the packaging is that microphone earmuff. And there's another packaging there with a giveaway sign on it. So this is going to be your PC connection. So that cable is actually called an auxiliary cable. So you would be plugging that 3.5 millimeter jack into the headset and then plugging those two prongs to your either a laptop or a PC. So first impressions once you get all the wires untangled is that this headset is extremely lightweight. What really attracted me towards this headset is that it has a metal construction that attaches both earmuffs. Typical gaming headsets in this price range are made of full plastic, but it's nice to see that MPOW did include some metal to make the construction more rigid. You guys can see the pressure free and auto adjustment headband that allows for easy installation and flexibility for any types of head sizes. So the EG3 Pro gaming headset does come with 7.1 surround sound to hear in-game details a lot better and a lot clearer. This is due to its high quality 50 millimeter driver unit that provides a vivid sound field and immersive gaming experience. The microphone is really unique as it can be flexed in whichever direction that you would like. Its mic dimension is 6 by 2.7 millimeters and it's an independent microphone cavity that provides better voice pickup. Keep in mind that this microphone also has noise cancelling. Along the wire there is also a microphone switch and a volume control and if we look at the end tips we will have a 3.5 millimeter jack as well as a USB connection. Keep in mind that the USB connection is only to power the LED lights on the headset. Since it's not really being advertised I have here an Xbox Series X controller as well as a PS5 controller. You will notice right off the bat that again it is compatible using the 3.5mm jack 
that is situated on the bottom side of the Xbox Series X controller. The same can be said for the PS5. There's a 3.5 millimeter jack situated under the controller. Keep in mind that this headset is running based on the power and the battery life of your controllers. This headset is 100% dependent and running on the power from your controllers. As you guys can see, there's a microphone switch which you can turn on and off to mute or unmute your microphone as well as a volume control. So what I'm doing here is I want to show you guys what happens when you plug in the USB to a USB power port. So around the actual earmuffs, there is going to be a section that lights up with an LED. Keep in mind that this specific model does come in different color sets. I took the regular LED white model, but it does come in blue, red, and there are different other versions. So I tested the EG3 Pro Gaming headset for about a month. So let's start first with the Xbox Series X. As you guys can see here, I am wearing a cap, but the flexible headbands makes it for such an easy and comfortable installation. What I typically do is make sure that on my Xbox Series X and S that the volume for the headset is set to max. And then what I do is I adjust the volume accordingly using the little volume control that comes on the headset. First impressions is that the headset is super lightweight and extremely comfortable. The other thing I need to mention is that even after extremely long gaming sessions, the earmuffs did not start to sweat. This is my personal opinion and this is the experience that I had, but I had no issues with heat or sweat accumulating on the earmuffs. First impressions about the song quality is I found it to be extremely vivid and extremely loud as well, which is a good thing. I was not expecting that headset to actually be as loud as I thought it was. Other thing that stood out to me is the amount of bass that this headset was outputting. I was quite happy with that amount and it was more than enough bass that I needed. Playing it on the Xbox Series X controller, I actually found myself having to lower the volume as having it on maximum was a little bit too loud for my liking. But again, this is a positive thing. Maybe one negative thing I have to say about the headset is just how heavy that cord is that attaches into the controller. You can actually feel the wire pull down on your remote. So make sure to have that wire sitting on you so that it doesn't pull down on your remote too much. Another thing that stood out to me is the 3D audio capabilities of this headset. I tried games like Gears of War, Forza Horizon 4, Ori and the Will of the Wisp, and hearing sounds come in from all directions really added to the immersion of the game. So next I tested the PS5 controller, and to my surprise I did not get the same results as the Xbox Series X. Now the audio quality and the bass effect were very similar but the biggest difference that I noticed when playing on the PS5 is that it just doesn't get as loud as playing on the Xbox Series X. Maybe this is because the Xbox Series X controller is outputting more power to the headset but I did notice that the Xbox Series X was much louder. So in conclusion, for $40 Canadian, this headset is a steal. It's lightweight, it sounds great, it fits almost any head, 
and it's super comfortable to wear as well the audio quality is great and i just loved using this headset and if you're wondering about the microphone quality well surprise as this entire video was recorded with that microphone well, that's the video for today guys i hope you found some value and i hope you enjoyed this if you enjoyed this video i would really appreciate a like but if you really enjoyed this video i would really appreciate a subscription to the channel you guys can also share this video and hit the notification bell as always have yourself a great day have yourself a great night and i'll catch you in the next one cheers